Hey guys and welcome in to another episode of May May Made It. This is my first ever haul video. I'm pretty excited about this. I've never done a haul video before. It's not a big haul. It's kind of little, but it's some things I found I wanted to show you about and um, kind of tell you where they came from. The first thing that's important to tell you is that I was at TJ Maxx. Um, I found that you can find some really good deals on stuff at TJ Maxx for your crafting. So I just want to show you what I picked up. It's just a few things. It won't take very long, but I hope you enjoy the video anyway. The first thing I got is something I've been wanting to try that I know this sounds crazy. I've never tried this before. This is Dotto Adhesive and it is a removable, it's all covered up, but it's a removable and repositionable dotto. And the other night I was doing a project and I thought, I've seen um, Christina Werner who takes the dotto and she'll kind of put it on her board and then stick something down if she's wanting it to be you know, in place and not move around while she's working. And I thought, I'm gonna try this. Now this says compare at $8 and I got it for $3.99. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Never bought it before, so I, I really don't know if that's an accurate price, but typically TJ Maxx is pretty accurate. So I got this dotto adhesive. Let's take a look at it. It's red, one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so there is, oh, it's kind of big too. I didn't realize it was this size, but it's got some grippies on it and it looks like you just dotto it out. It looks like it's already ready to go. Maybe, I may have to read it and see if there's like a little thing to take off or something because it's not sticky, but that's the first thing I got was some dotto adhesive. Now, if you've never shot for arts and crafts at TJ Maxx, and believe me, I had never either, the um, arts and crafts section is some is usually in the the housewares or the homewares and it's kind of where you see the books and the journals and the things like that and sometimes it's pretty hidden and then sometimes you can you really really notice it but that's what I got um that's where I got this was the dotto adhesive and I'm excited to get to use that now the next thing I got which was a lot of fun I got this stamp and I know you're thinking exactly what I was thinking what in the world you can't even see it because they put the price tag over it but I was able to look down here and see that it is a snowflake of some sort so, oh yeah, it's interesting. Okay, so let's take this out and look at it. I haven't even opened it yet. So there's a picture of it on the bottom. That's pretty neat. It has like um, marks to line it up with. And by the way, this was $3.99 and it says to compare it $8. So I found this. It's made by EK Success and it's called Paper Shapers. This looks interesting. I don't think this is exactly what I thought it was, but let's find out. Let's stamp it. Let's uh, punch it. Okay, this is a piece of scrap I was using earlier. I was trying to make something off the Cricut and I didn't like the way it came out. So let's see what this does. This looks interesting. So I'm going to place it in and punch. And then pull it out. Oh, this is so interesting. Look what this does. Let me get my bone folder. It, well, I don't guess I even need it on this side. <laughs> That's kind of cute. It does the, it does the cut and then it leaves you these little guys to lift up so it doesn't actually cut out a snowflake. It does the kind of imprint of a snowflake. Can you see that? It kind of, um, it kind of cuts it. Let me put something white behind it. A little Christmas tree shape I cut out. Can you see that now when I do that? It just kind of lifts those edges up. That is really, really neat. Let me come into the light and zoom in. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt it. Oh, let me sit still and see if it'll focus. There it goes. See that? Oh, my focus is not working well. I'm too close, I'm too close. That's pretty neat, I like that. That is just cute, and you know what? I like it on this little envelope deal that I made, which now I've got it backwards, but kind of lifts up, that's kind of cute. So $3.99. And it is, let me see if it says, it's called a paper shaper, but that's normal. Oh, it's called, it's called a pop-up punch. And if you look at the picture to the side, you can see that the snowflakes don't actually, it doesn't take out a snowflake. It just punches the, the legs of the snowflake through. Too cute. I hope that made sense because that, I didn't, ooh, I didn't even realize what I had gotten. So that was neat. Okay. The next thing I got from TJ Maxx was this paper pad. I thought this was really cute. It's called a punch pad by Martha Stewart. Um, let you see that's called a punch pad. And let me get back out. Okay, so it's called a punch pad by Martha Stewart Holidays and it shows you using the, the punches. And what I thought was neat is it is um, just kind of skinny strips of paper, which I mean, I guess you could punch it out, but I couldn't really look at it because of the sticker on it, so let's see what makes it different. Pretty papers. 
really pretty papers. Um, let me see if they're showing very well. Let's do a little flip through. Double sided. Oh, they're cute. Oh, that's wood grain. That's cute. I'm excited about that piece. And you know what I was thinking? These, it may be called a punch pad, but these are big enough to put, oh, these are so cute. It says Merry Christmas. These are um, perfect for cards and crafting it. There's a red wood grain. That's cute, cute, cute. So I like these pages. This is, oh, this is pretty. This is a silver with a tiny snowflake in it. Very neat, so some foil and what have you. These are cute. And this little guy was only $2.99. I mean, I, really? That was so cheap. How can you not buy that? So I love that about TJ Maxx. Cheap, affordable. They're not cheap, they're just affordable. So the next thing I got was a stamp set by American Crafts. This is the first stamp set I've ever had by American Crafts. I've never tried them before. But before my house burned, I know you're sick of hearing about that, but before my house burned, I had just purchased the cutest um, letter stamp set like this. And I got it at Big Lots for nothing, like $2. But I just started using it and I had made something with it and just love how it looked. And these letters, what I think is so cool about this, and I'm gonna try to lift that up where you can see it, but my light is just so dark today. Um, these letters have like, this A is really ornate with a filigree edge and really, really pretty. And then next to it, it's just a, a plain A. So it's, it's decorative A, plain A, decorative B, plain B, all the way through the alphabet. I thought these were really cute. Now here's the best part. It was $1.99. They're normal, it says compare it $4. So $1.99, I was excited about these. Um, American Crafts, and it's the Marion Collection. Really cute, can't wait to do something with those. The next thing that I got from TJ Maxx, almost the end, but this, as you can see, was $1.99. These are Martha Stewart Crafts. These are clear cookie alphabet stamps. I don't know why they're called cookie. I guess maybe they look like cookies. Maybe that's it because they don't, I mean, anyway, they're not for, they're not food safe. They don't look food safe to me, but they're really cute. They're just ornate um, fonts. And I like to have ornate fonts because I even like to maybe like take, if I was going to do happy holidays, maybe I take this H and I stamp H and then holidays in a different um, font and then like the H for happy and you know, or whatever. Just, I like to use one of these big ones with smaller different fonts. So I thought this would come in handy. And for $1.99, how can you beat that? I don't know. That's something I have to add to my collection. So there's that. Now the last, the second to the last thing from TJ Maxx, I would have never even seen this except that I saw the EK success on it and I thought, I wonder what that is. This is a mini ruler. And you're thinking, really, you spent $1.99 on that? But you have to give this a set. You gotta give this a shot. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna try. Um, it's little tiny, it's so cute. Can you even see it? Look how tiny it is. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. What I like about it is it's a six inch ruler. It's small enough to keep in like my pencil case. And you know what, when we're doing cards, we don't do much bigger than that. You know, we pretty much the interior of the card is, is smaller than six inches. This is gonna be fantastic for measuring. And um, I wish I could find a piece of paper it shows on. It shows pretty good on that. But for measuring these smaller pieces and even just, I don't know, I just thought this may be more useful than I realized. And like I said, this is from EK Success. It was $1.99, normally seen at $4. And it's accurate, non-slip. It does, it does have a, a kind of a grip to it. Oh, look, it has little grip dots on it, little um, pink or purple dots that grip. This is cool. I'm excited about using this. You will definitely see this in a tutorial because um, I think it's neat. You'll probably all be looking for it. Now, um, the last thing I got from TJ Maxx is this. Oh, this paper is beautiful. I'm going to let it cover the whole screen because we're going to flip through it. But i got to open it up. I just flipped through the edges. This is for me and my big ideas. Um, this is a product that compares at $14 and it was $6.99 at TJ Maxx. I just, I buy a lot of stuff from TJ Maxx anyway when I'm shopping, but this was just a really, really good bargain. Let's see. On this side. I don't know if you can hear my husband on the phone. He's talking with contractors. <laughs> this is hard. He's having to deal with that. I don't really know anything about it, but... We've got some family members that are helping us out a lot because we don't know what we're doing, but you might can hear. Anyway, this is from TJ Maxx. $14 was the um, compare it price. $6.99 is what I paid for it. It's 34 sheets, 12 by 12 specialty card stock, which is what I love because I love the card stock that's printed. 
again, by me and my big ideas. Look at these pages. Can you see? I don't know if you can even tell. That is foil. All of that is foil pages. I'm going to scoot it up so you can see the edges. And here it's white with musical staff and things. So this is so pretty. I don't have any idea what year this was or collection or a lot of people know that. I never know that stuff. I'll watch and they'll say, this is from last year's collection. I don't know. <laughs> Just go to the store. I don't know. This paper's gorgeous. It has a feel to it. Like a, um, like a tooth. You can kind of, maybe you can see that little shimmer that it's got. Oh, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to use this. I'm thinking this may be all my Christmas cards, the ones that I do. When I do one, I'll show you. I, I really love this. And this has that shimmer in spots too. I love this. My husband's a music minister and this is a whole sheet of music and I think this would be really pretty to do Christmas cards from him or from us even. I think this is pretty. And then look at this page. So pretty. I can see this being, um, you know, you can buy those 12 by 12 frames. I can see you framing this and turning this into a, a wall hanging with um, pictures and things. There's a stripe. This is snowflakes. I would cut these out and use them. They're really cute. Look at this with the deer and the snowflakes. Oh, so pretty. Look at this guy. He's kind of got some of the lighter, that celadon green in him. And, oh, the, this page, the snowflake or the starburst is shimmery. And I don't see that showing up, but maybe it is. But it's shimmery. And then more music, snowflakes. These would be cute border pages. You could really, you know, cut these out and make borders out of them. That would be cute. And then this is a design pattern. But look at this. This is so pretty. It's got bunny rabbits, which is odd for Christmas. I don't really get that. But the trees are gorgeous. I can see this being a background page with something beautiful on it. Something beautiful. I have to think about it. So that's my TJ Maxx haul. Now, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. I'm going to flip this dude over. No, I'm not because he's still busy. I'm just going to move him. I recently replaced my sewing machine, and I think this is a definite must-have for all of us sewers out there. These are by Fiskars. I bought these at Joann's, and I, I probably paid... Less than $20 for them. Probably a good bit less than $20, but these are by Fiskars, and these are the kind of scissors that are made that automatically open and close for you. Let me show you this. I haven't even opened them, see? I need scissors to open my scissors. Here they are. They are super, super, super. They have this locking me mechanism and you push this back and when you do, they open on their own. So if you have carpal tunnel or um, any kind of um, arthritis or anything like that, these open for you. You can, uh, you probably cannot even tell that I'm, maybe you can't because notice that my thumbs are outside. So I push down, but they open for me. I'm not opening them myself. Like I'm going to hold this side still. See how they open for me? They're fantastic. Now, these are the scissors that I only use for fabric. I don't use these, these scissors for anything else, and um, I will know that. These are my big scissors I use for paper, and they're just something from Office Depot, just a big, hefty set. But these are great. They're Fiskars. Like I said, I got them at um, Joann. They're called Easy Action Scissors Number 8. They're sharper blades, perfect for fabric, and they spring assist, making cutting easier. They are um, ease of use commendation by the Arthritis Foundation. I love these scissors. I couldn't say enough about them. And I just wanted to share them today because I think they're great. And if any of you guys have kind of hand issues or anything like that, these are the scissors you should think about. Even for more than just fabric, but they're great for fabric. So that's it, guys. That's a haul video that I got. Um, kind of weak. I know not a whole lot of stuff today, but some pretty neat stuff. And I didn't spend very much money, so my husband likes that part. All right, guys. I want to wish y'all a Merry Christmas. It's time to cook dinner for the family. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.